Welcome to Unveiling the Truth, where we unveil the truth about the Catholic Church teachings one fact at a time. I'm Nefer. And I'm Nelly. and in this Fun Fact Friday video, we are going over the Miraculous Medal. Yes, the Miraculous Medal is another Marian devotion that helps us get closer to God. So without further ado, let's go unveil the truth. Can you hear us well? Like we've been doing with the other devotion um, Fun Fact Friday videos, we're going to be explaining the history behind how this devotion came to be and how it started. But just really quickly, the Miraculous Medal um, is, or as this article puts it, designed and revealed by Mary, the medal is unique among all medals. And so basically, the Miraculous Medal is the image of um, the Our Lady. <laughs> this is this image right here, which has been enlarged for simpler viewing. Um, and I mean, I typically, I mean, I technically do have a medal, but it's inside my scapular. Mm -hmm. And I think most scapulars or all scapulars have the miraculous medal oh. inside of it, um, which is really cool. Cause yeah. I mean, you see that these like devotions are all interconnected. Right, right. So it's like we've talked about the rosary, we've mm -hmm. talked about the scapular, we've talked right. about you know all these things we've talked, we've touched on in our past fun facts Friday yeah. videos. And like, not only is it showing how important Mary is in our religion, but also how you can get to God through Mary. Yeah. Because oh, like yeah. all of these are just ways to get yourself closer to God and you know, mm -hmm. to earn your salvation and everything. Yeah, exactly. Because that's ultimately Mary's goal is just helping us get right. closer to her son and right. to God. So um, this miraculous medal, it's very similar to like Our Lady of Guadalupe in the sense that the image was like imprinted mm -hmm. in a certain way. Um, well, well, that one was actually like imprinted on the cloth, but this one was like an image, as it said, designed by Mary herself. Mm -hmm. Like, it's the image that she showed to a uh, saint called Saint Catherine Louvre, Saint Catherine Louvre, thank you, Saint Catherine Louvre. And so she would appear to Saint Catherine Louvre on uh, particular events, and on one particular occasion in November of 1830, Mary again appeared to Saint Catherine at the Rue de Bob Chapelle. Sorry. <laughs> At the root of Bach Chapel, this time our Blessed Mother was standing on a globe with dazzling rays of light streaming from her outstretched hands. Framing the apparition was an inscription, O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. When Mary spoke to St. Catherine, she said, have a medal struck upon this model. Although this one doesn't have the strings coming out, but it does <laughs> her arms are, are outstretched, so that's like the point of it. Um, have, a medal, have a medal struck upon this model. Those who wear it will receive great graces, especially if they wear it around the neck, which I have it in my scapular. Those who repeat this prayer with devotion will be, in a special manner, under the protection of the Mother of God. Graces will be abundantly bestowed upon those who have confidence. With approval of the Catholic Church, the first medals were made in 1832 and distributed in Paris. Only 10 of the original medals are known to exist, oh. and one of them is housed at the Miraculous Medal Shrine. Almost immediately, the blessings that Mary promised showered down on those who wore her medal, and soon all of France was clamoring for what the people referred to as the Miraculous Medal. Use of the medal spread from country to country, and at the time of St. Catherine's death in 1876, more than a billion medals had been made. A billion. Wow. A billion with a B. Today, the medal is still drawing down from God blessings for body and soul. Right. So it works very similar function to like the scapular and, mm -hmm. and things like that because um, it's just one of the promises of, you know, Mary's love for us. Right, right. And how we're, I think the inscription is like, you know, asking her to pray for us, I'm sorry, <clears throat> pray for us who have recourse to thee. Right. So it's just that kind of intercessory petition that we're mm -hmm. making to her and just a constant reminder of that. By wearing it, we're having that constant reminder. Right, and kind of like the scapular, it's a protection and it gives yeah. you special graces. Like this medal specifically, like she said, you attain graces from those who wear it, especially those who wear it around the neck. Mm -hmm. uh, but And you need to pray that prayer every day that is on it to in order to attain a lot of those graces. Yep. So it's just kind of another um, way of Mary, you know, shielding us and protecting us and helping us out on this life. Yeah. <clears throat> so let's go into a little bit more of what the medal looks like. So we said where it came from, it was um, a vision to St. Catherine Lebreu who had it made into a medal. And so let's kind of go into the details of what it looks like. So the front side of the miraculous medal depicts Mary Immaculate, her hands open, full of light. St. Catherine Lebreu saw Our Lady appear like this and heard her say, have a medal made according to this model. Everyone who wears it around their neck will receive great graces. Mary stands upon the globe as the queen of heaven and earth. Her feet crush the serpent to proclaim that Satan and all his followers are helpless before her. There's a Bible verse, Genesis 3.15. The year 1830 on the miraculous medal 
is the year the Blessed Mother gave the design of the miraculous medal to St. Catherine. The reference to Mary conceived without sin supports the dogma of the Immaculate Conception of Mary, referring to Mary being sinless, full of grace, and blessed among women. The dogma of the Immaculate Conception was proclaimed 24 years later in 1854 and then confirmed when Mary appeared to St. Bernadette in Lourdes, France in 1858. On the reverse side, the cross and the letter M symbolizes the close relationship of Mary to the suffering, passion, and death of her son. The cross can symbolize Christ and our redemption, with the bar under the cross a sign of the earth and the altar. For it is on the altar at Mass that the sacrifice of Calvary continues to be present in the world today. The M signifies Mary and Mother. The interweaving of Mary's initials and the cross shows Mary's close involvement with Jesus in our world. In this, we see Mary's part in our salvation and her role as mother of the church. Beneath the cross bar, the, yeah, beneath the cross bar and the M are two hearts side by side, the sacred heart of Jesus crowned with thorns and the immaculate heart of Mary pierced with the sword. The two hearts represent the love of Jesus and Mary for us. The 12 stars signify the 12 tribes of Israel and the 12 apostles who represent the entire church as it surrounded Mary. They also recall the vision of St. John, writer of the book Revelation, in which, quote, a great sign appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and moon under her feet and her on her head, a crown of 12 stars, close quote. Nice. Right. I always like that image of um, Re Revelation, the one showed in Revelation, because mm -hmm. it's like, that's literally the exact image for Our Lady of Love of the Wow. Well, awesome. by the way, we're playing the music from her mantle mm -hmm. right now, so. Yeah, just keep that in mind if you hear some noise instead and combine with the fan. But um, yeah, and so, oh, so it's like I said earlier, it was the image of the Immaculate Conception, which is the one we have right here. Mm -hmm. Right. You can't, I don't know if you guys can see because um, she's over here on the ground, but she does have the globe underneath her. Mm -hmm. and, and she's stepping and on she's Satan. Stepping, she's stepping on a snake. Because so that she will always prevail. Yep. So yeah, so it's a very beautiful medal inspired by Mary herself. Obviously, if she gave it to us, she thinks it's important. Mm -hmm. So it's really good to be devoted to this, just like, you know, the scapular and the rosary. So yeah. we just wanted to spread that out there. Yeah, I was going to say just really quickly, I thought right now that I was thinking, we have that image of her stepping on, on the serpent's head from Genesis. We call mm -hmm. her from Genesis. And then her being the queen of heaven pulled directly from Revelation. Oh. Think about it. It's like the, the very beginning and the end of the Bible. Yeah. Like that image is kind of, it's just mm -hmm. like, you know, the basically kind of like the alpha and omega marian vision yeah in the that's Bible. true that's awesome i'm sorry i just thought of that right no, now that's cool. like, wait. <laughs> but, you know with so many um things that we have with mary in our catholic church it's just because of how you know she's a mother of god she's a pinnacle of creation yeah. it's like she's the highest creation among men because she was yeah. perfect and so we need yeah. to we need to respect her for that and we don't worship her but we honor her for being the mother of god and right. for being sinless and for loving us like she loves us as if we're her own children so just little devotions like this really make her heart happy so yeah and so you know kind of like how we said earlier it's just it's always going like how you said to jesus through mary mm -hmm. it's always going to be a, to jesus that's like the end goal it's always to god it's never for her own sake, yeah, because you know it's, it's always towards leading towards her son. You know, she's like, I'm doing this to help you guys out. Yeah, bro. like yeah, really. it's not because I want you guys to worship or adore me. It's because I want you to worship and adore my son. I want mm -hmm. you to worship and adore God, the Father, God, the Son, God, the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And so that's just to keep that in mind. Like she's just the path we go through. Right. And I don't remember what saint was that said that the easiest way of getting to heaven. Um, oh, getting to Jesus is through Mary. Yeah. Um, I think, I think it was. Padre Pio? I'm not yeah, sure. Probably oh, was it? Yeah. I think it was. Yeah. We'll, we'll put it, well, we'll fix it in like the description. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We'll uh, fact check that. But <laughs> Well, and kind of like we said in the in one of the previous videos, is that um, being the mother of God, Jesus, that's why we use her as an intercessor or mediator, because mm -hmm. Jesus is more likely to listen to Mary because oh, she's his mother. mother. So, And that's biblical canon, because we yeah. look at the Gospel of John chapter 2. Mm -hmm. John chapter 2. Yeah. John chapter I'm pretty two. sure. Yeah. Yes, just over two. I don't know, but <laughs> yeah, wait, that's that's biblical canon, so we're not making that up. Like it is, you know, yeah, it's canon. It's canonical that yeah. Mary will listen to Jesus. I mean, sorry that Jesus, well, obviously yes, but that Jesus will <laughs> listen to Mary because it's just that filial love and obedience towards his mom, towards his mama. But anyways, so, yeah. so that's good. That's good that we went over all the devotions of Mary because I think that's that's about it. We have the scapula, the rosary, and the miraculous medal. Those yeah. are like the three main things. The, main, the main ones, yeah. Yeah, the main ones. So we hope we're able to shed some light on the subject, but go home and do some research. There's so much stuff. I think there have been even miracles performed with this medal, so yeah. it's definitely something nice to have around. Yeah, definitely. And all you have to do is wear it around your neck. Fashion. <laughs>
<laughs> Sorry. Not with the intense of fashion. No, 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 no. Or it's not the intense of fashion, more so with the intense of devotion. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Don't listen to me. <laughs> Don't listen to this. I'm not saying. <laughs> yeah. So um, thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed. And yeah, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Unveiling the Truth with Nefer and Nelly. Um, you can check out our audio podcast on audio platforms that you have up on our link tree, which will be down in, this, in the description, like Spotify, iHeartRadio, Google Apple Podcasts, RSS Feed, Anchor, um, I don't remember, but, um, and also make sure to follow our Instagram at unveiling underscore the underscore truth underscore and yeah. God bless you. Um, have a great day and keep that fire burning. Bye.